What's going on, everyone? Kami here, and the new patch is out. The stars, spirits, and uh, clovers, and horseshoes, and blue moons, oh my. Uh, there was a change that happened midway through the PTS that I was not aware of until the patch came out, and then they were like, hey, cauterize got buffed, and I'm like, cool. I hate cauterize. I understand if cauterize was not in the game right now, then things would be absolutely busted for healers, but then again, I think the healers should be adjusted to the point where cauterize shouldn't be a mandatory pick. I like that it got nerfed before. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I like that uh, Cauterize got nerfed before, but the healing, I, I guess, generally people felt like it was too strong. I maybe could say that it could be toned down just a little bit, but in general, um, uh oh, oh no, I'm just sad that they, they, they essentially nerfed the heat. Oops, this is bad. There we go. Good. My tanks are staying alive. Thank Lagoobers, but I'm sad that they nerfed the healing and, uh, by the whole good hook. They nerfed the healing by buffing Cauterize. Like, that's the last thing that I'd want to see done. Ooh, got the heal on it, but it wasn't enough. Let's heal Luke. Make sure he's topped off to push in. Ooh, that guy's being a meanie head. Check. Ooh, we missed that Spitfire. That would have been bad. Whoa. Oh, there's an Androxus behind us. Bummer. Oh, he got disintegrated, dude. Holy crap. What happened to him? <laughs> but of course, Damba also got a buff, which we played around the PTS again, but we're in these custom games. So we got some good people going on. Let's give it another test. Remember, if you want to join in these custom games, join my Discord. Join my Discord. And if you're a sub or a Twitch sub or a patron, then you get in these pretty much for free. Well, other than the cost of supporting your favorite content creator, right? Am I right? Oh my God, this Fernando is in, my man. He is in. Panini's looking a little low over there. Ooh, can't get a heal on him. Might be able to get this stun off on him. Nope, gotta go back. But also, if you're in my Discord, if we don't have enough for, like, if we have, like, maybe eight or nine. Woo -hoo -hoo. Ah, if we have almost enough and we need to fill it, then we, I will add everyone on Discord and then be like, hey, first come, first serve, and I'll let you know the password to the, to the server. You know, you never know. It happens. It usually happens towards the end of the custom games, but I want to play a couple more just to finish out my recordings for the day. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, suck on that Damba, deeps. Uh, I think I saw an Androxus over here. Nope, never mind. Yeah, I do hear him. He might go for an ult. Oh, that was their Drogos. I thought that was our Drogos. I glanced up and saw our Drogos had ult, and I thought that was him ulting. <laughs> Such a silly goose monster. Classic. But our Drogos took out their Drogos, which means uh, Drogos on Drogos crimes is still a thing, and that's just saddening. You know what I mean? They haven't been pushing the payload up at all, so that's good. They've just been aggressively zoning us in spawn. But the payload not moving whatsoever is really good. And Droxus wants some cookies, man. Droxus is back. Ouchies. We gotta get out of spawn, though. We gotta make our push. All right, we're pushing over on the right side. I dig it, bro. I dig it. You must carry on her duties. <laughs> duties. Oh, good juke. Good juke. Did he, like, do a 180 and then, like, come back and try to hit him? Because that would have been next level stuff. We are just getting pushed too far back to spawn. I tell you what, bro. We got to make a comeback. We got to make it happen. But I don't know if we can, man. We have a good comp. We have Khan. Man, defense failed. We've got a Khan. We've got a Makoa. We've got a Drogos. The Drogos is going to be pretty hard countered by the Androxes. But, I mean, the Cassie can take out their Drogos. And the Cassie can do fine against the Androxes. I mean, to be fair. You know what I mean? Cassie can pretty much take on whoever she wants. She's Kaffa. But right now, we're just kind of... Kind of slacking, kind of, kind of getting pooned, getting, getting pooned. You know, we're new, we're noobs and we're getting pooned. Hello, Arrow. So let's try going over to the right side. We are going to claim our the right side as our own. This right side's our side. It is not your side. <laughs> now we're just gonna put up a shield. We're gonna try to bust that down as fast as possible. Then they're gonna get healed a bunch, and now we're gonna cry. Forget about it, huh? Ooh, almost got that. Oh, the stuns are real, my friend. We got a double stun on him. <laughs> oh, that stun was not nice. Cool, we got it. As long as we're all doing the things that we need to do. Ooh, nice trade off there from Timberwolf. It was like perfectly, we kept the, we didn't let it drop at all. The capping of the point, that's important. Um, yeah, as long as we all do the same thing, then like it works out pretty well, huh? 
Uh, Kyoshi has an alt. Coolio, we got the point captured. We held on to our ult, so we can use our ult. We should have used our ult right there to kind of stay alive, but um, we didn't. We just got two down right there. Almost have enough for Chronos 3. I think we'll just save up for that. Makoa just ulted. We're going to try to get him out alive. He's going to be backing up. Coolio. Gonna be a little bit. Release them from their pain. How does how does revealing them release them from their pain? That's my question. Know what I mean? We're gonna appear from the back to make him go forward and get that Fernando down. We just wanted to get that shield down. So Androxus is probably gonna be pushing over and on the right. Oops. There we go. Gotta hit these. No, let me dash. Oh, the game broke. The game broke. Is Androxus dead? No. Where is the Androxus? Oh, he's over there. He's going way far over there. All right. Have at it, man. I'm going to go over here to the left side. <clears throat> fire burns. That's a double fireball. Is he going Scorch? He's going formidable. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, my Lagoobers. Nice. Nice shout by the con. Panini showing that his pro gamer plays right there. Although now Panini is going in very much hot. A little bit too hot. Oh, I missed. That sucks. Oh, I can't get that heal. Ooh, these keels, right when the cot goes off. Is that Drogo still back there? Okay. He's just backing off for the cot. He's going to spin back here in a second, I think. Cool, that's a big pick if we can stay alive. I'm just gonna kinda hold this and oh! Get me in the gourd! Bummer, we just got our ult up. If we were able to stay alive just for a couple more seconds, then we would have been able to get that ult off, but we didn't, you know how it is. Dama feels fine. The cot, honestly, I'm not really noticing too much. You know, I talk about how I'm not a big fan of these cot changes. I think we'll go with, I think we'll just go with Death Hands. Not many, oh, they are going resilience. Death Hands was a bad move there, ladies and gentlemen. Death Hands was a bad move. How many ults do we have? We have a decent amount of ults. I think we just want to chill. Maybe let Makoa try to get his ult up a little bit. Androxus used his ult. I don't think Fernando has any time recently. Let's see if we can get the sun off on this Androxus. Oh, he's over here in the middle. What are you going to do? But in general, this game has uh, started off a little rough, <clears throat> but it's turned into a pretty okay game. Do right again. Do right again. Here, here's my philosophy. If you do something and it works, do it again. But if you do it again and it works, then do the other side. That's like a just a that's like a super generic rule to go by. Um, usually twice is when they're gonna start getting the hang of it. Oh no. Oh no, I'm so dead, dude. Oh! 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 Oh, I thought I was dead, but I wasn't. Play cool. That's me whistling, but I can't whistle. You guys whistle? I used to be able to whistle like inhaling, but not exhaling. Now I can't do either. Feels weird, man. Oh no. Behind us. Wait for the cop to fall off. Here's a gourd. Wait for the cop to fall off. And now, oh no, that was perfectly timed, but like, oh, barely got the point. Luke, 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 Luke. Ah! Bummer. I missed that? Feels bad, man. Uh, probably need to fall back. Yep. Um... We're actually gonna hide right here and then go for another dash. Thank you. Hiya! Jorgos? You're over here, aren't you? I know you are. Oh, God. We are going to get ran on over here, but we almost have our ult up again. And oh, Lagoobers. Luckily, a lot of those missed. That would have been bad news, Bears. A lot of shots going off here. Hello. That's how you do it right there, I guess. All right, we're pushing. We're pushing. Jorgos is be coming over to the left. Jorgos is being a big old duty head. That's a no. That's a no. Gotta tell him to go back. Cut back. You don't know me like that. 
Ooh, that thing barely missed me. I think we can get the shield down? Shield is down. We need to heal some people up. Stop focusing on the... That would have been a good time to fear, probably. We do need a fear. Very soon. Oh, that hurts. It hurts when I PvP. Oh, get me out of this! Get me out of this madness, I ask of you! hoo -ah. Corvus is, uh... Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Seem to be coming over this way? Nope. Do you want to throw down? Oh, I just want to... Uh, I got it. I don't have it. I have it. <laughs> no, none of that. Okay. We got him. Khan is incredibly low. Found him. Now we can push. Everyone one into the gourd. Run into the gourd. Oh, he went back. That was actually smart. That was actually smart. Pull him back. I dig it. I dig it. You either just want to die there or you want to... Oh, hello. I think we should be able to get that kill. Yes. Good hook. You love to hit hook. Oh. No touching. Did it run into that? Nope, never mind. Got a chance. Got a chance to push this in. It's going to be a little rough or a little bit staggered just being up and down. You know, some people are dealing with the people behind us. And it's a really good play to do for the defensive team is if you get behind the enemy team, just kind of chill back there, man. As long as your team is not getting overran like crazy, this is a good time to just put pressure to make us be like, hey, what's going on, man? What's going on? That's not good. All right. Dolgen's got me. Indulgence died. Avenged, but push failed. We have all ults except for Cassie. Cassie's a little bit rough. Cassie's usually one you want to have at the very beginning of the round, but that's okay. And we're not going to get any more deft hands because they have a crap ton of resilience because they're going vortex grab. Yes, I should have paid attention to that before I grabbed resilience or before I grabbed deft hands because, you know, when they grab resilience, it makes it not so good. What do we want to grab? We have the stun from that, and that's pretty much it. What do I want to grab, man? I could definitely go Haven. Could go morale boost too. Decisions, decisions. Haven, Haven, blast, Haven, blast. I think we want to go Haven. I think we want to go Haven. And we have an ultimate. We're just going to go Haven 3 or we'll call it a day. You remember, we also have the card that allows us to get 16% damage reduction <clears throat> when we do healing spirits. I'm sorry, my throat is so... Oh, I should have told them not to go right side this time, but it's too late, team. It's too late. Nice hook. Beautiful hook. Oh, there's big kills. Man, this well, this well push is just working out well for us, man. It's just working out for us. That would have been a cool stun, right? Fernando was running. Okay, okay, okay. We'll think of the Jorbos. The Jorbos ult has a fear factor, you know what I mean? Oh, no. That's not good. Wait for that to blow up. Check. All right, we just lost a lot of people. Check. Might be able to get back out. This is going to be pretty big if I can get back out. We're probably going to need our alt to push on left side. Yes, we are going to. But resilience does nothing. Oh, duh. Of course, resilience is... Oh, God. Resilience is going to stop the... The fear. <laughs> Burr. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We push back on. We're making big plays. Die, my man, die. But luckily, that person, Indulgence, I think is the only one that doesn't have resilience, so that works out for us. Cool, objective capture, and there goes another ragdoll body fly. Speaking of ragdoll bodies, I'll tell you what, man. The uh, rogue company, the rogue company ragdolls are one of the, my favorite things about the game. Just random people, like you just, they're just like bleeding and they're crawling and they're just trying to get out. And then when they finally get out, they just like explode. Oh, I didn't notice the Drogo stuff above me. He hit me twice, didn't he? He hit me twice. Definitely was not paying attention there. Whoops. No. Gots to fall back. That's not even going to do anything. Check. It'll just hiccup him at least. It'll hiccup him. Give him the hiccups. Hiya. Here, eat that. Eat some of those. For freedom. For freedom. It's going to feel nice being able to have all these ults, but at the same time, morale boost might also not have been a good plan because resilience. But we had already made the choice to buy it, and I refused to change my decision because some call me stubborn. 
I don't know if you would consider that stubborn. When you make a decision and no matter what other things are doing, they can just completely counter it. You just still do it anyway. Wait for that cot to fall off. Yeah. We're going to drop that shield. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, we're good. Got a little distracted. He's stuck in a corner, my man. What's up, Kyoshi? Oh. Wait for the cop to fall off. Okay, okay. We're fine, we're fine. Kind of. We're fine, we're fine. Kind of. Ooh, big kill, big kill by the Panines. He is off and about. I gotta get around the corner so I can heal him when he gets a hit. Who do you take down? The Furia? That actually might be pretty big here. That might be enough to say, hello, winner, winner, chicken dinner. That would be the dream, huh? That would be the dream. Ah, the heal wasn't enough. Maybe I shouldn't have focused on him. I was hoping, I was like, hey, you don't want to play caught with the uh, Androxus ult, so it might be worth it. <laughs> Man, I tell you what, I'm glad that you guys enjoyed these custom games for the most part, because I'm almost just going to be like, casual doesn't exist. Like, I want to I wanna still be in the matchmaking occasionally so I can feel the pain that everyone else has to feel, you know? But for in general, this this world of custom games where I have all these people that are so amazing, we have such good games, no one's toxic, like I don't, I don't ever want to not play in these custom games, so. Sorry guys, I'm gonna live in my imaginary world over here in custom games, living the dream. If you want to join my imaginary world, remember, you know, the whole sub thing on Twitch or Patreon, join my Discord, link it up. Pretty much if you have any questions, just, you know, get on Discord and then message me. And then, you know, you can message me and then ask questions. Ooh. Ooh, it all just went in a little bit too hot. Oh! Ooh, we take those, we take those. All right, so free capture right now, free capture. <laughs> we need to make sure not to die. Makoa's coming back, he has an ult, I have an ult. I mean, it's literally just gonna be a stutter step to these people, because they all have pretty much resilience. It's gonna be a little bit more than a stutter step, but... Oh, my goobers. We're just kind of getting them out. They're going to have to make the push right now. I think he just like put his... Is that it? No, it's not it. You know what? Resilience doesn't help. I don't know where he went. Ah, yes. The ults are in. We're making it happen. Big plays. Oh, we tried to get that off, but couldn't get it. <laughs> Blow him up! Woo! -hoo -hoo. That was a hell of a, a hell of an ending there. I got a clown fiesta on point. I loved it. It was hectic as hell. GG and Spinini Ham, such a good game. I agree. Such a good game. That game went really well for us because we kept going right side and they didn't do anything about it. Uh, I kept saying that like it's a general rule in my head that if you do something twice and it works, usually the third time they're like, wait a minute. Th but that's a little bit of where the mind game comes in because if you're going up against people that you know are competent, when you do something twice, they're like, they might try it for a third time, but they probably know we're going to catch on. So we're actually going to stack the other side. That would be like the proper play to do if you were the opposite team who just got wrecked by a team going to one side twice in a row. The big brain play for us is to know that they're going to expect us to switch it up because it just worked two times in a row and instead keep going that way as they stack the other side. I mean, in general, I think I think this this uh, mentality that we had in this game was just like it's working. Therefore, we do it until it stops working. And that worked out pretty well for us. Um, they didn't really they didn't really have any opposed uh, people over there. They needed someone over on their side, like how we were coming through the very far right. They needed to come in through the very far left and put pressure on us while people in the mid were also putting pressure on us. And they could have gotten a really good sandwich. Uh, someone could have ran right through point and flanked up behind us. That would also have been really good. But luckily, none of that really happened, or at least we were holding angles to the point where they couldn't do it. But anyway, the main topics of this that I want to talk about is one, the healing nerf kind of the cauterize buff not a big fan of it but i didn't really notice it too much cauterize in general just sucks to me i think it's a really lame mechanic that is simply the counterplay to it is hide you know healing obviously would be out of whack if there was no such thing as cauterize in the game right now it is what it is but i'm sad that when they nerfed cauterize i was happy but then i'm sad that they they buffed it again by reducing the cost and not only that but if they like increase its efficiency it's one thing but if they if they increase the cost it comes down to that master writing scenario where it's like why not pick it up it's so 
so cost effective. And then Cotter Race becomes even more of a no brain, let's just pick it every game. That's lame. And then of course Damba got buffed, but I mean, not very, by very much. I just love excuses to play Damba. Let me know what you think about the cauterize change down in the comments, uh, in case you didn't get it. It's still the same if, uh, efficiency, if it's, it's still 25, 50, 75, but uh, for 1.5 seconds, but the cost got reduced from 300 per to 250 per. So it goes 250, 500, 750 and instead of 369. Really quick, I'd like to open up a couple, a few gifts actually. And then uh, I'm gonna get back to more sub games. But first one's coming in from Jay or Night Fury. He says, happy birthday. You know what? This video might actually be coming out on my birthday. We'll try to make this video come out on my birthday. 30, 34. Is there, there's a 31 days in July? Don't answer that question. Uh, but Jay, thank you so much for the birthday wishes. And of course, thank you so much for the small gift. Jay. He challenged me to say his name. He's like, my name is Jay. And I'm like, that's hard. I spent like an hour trying to pronounce people's names, uh, foreign languages that I that, that I don't speak. It was it was a, a quite a delight for about an hour on stream. Hopefully you got to see that. If not, actually be happy you didn't see that. But thank you so much for the three team boosters. Next one comes in from Challenge Makoa, except it's Mikao. Challenge Mikao. Oh, look at that cute little. I might want to switch to this. Is you are awesome with a small gift. Well, you are awesome, sir and or madam. And thank you so much for the three team boosters. We're moving on up, man. Moving on up to the imaginary world where you're your prestige and matter of importance is solely dictated by your number of battle team boosters. Whatever the world that is, we're the king. And the last one, of course, I said it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. T1T Mouse coming in on a happy birthday. Thank you so much, T1T Mouse, for all the gifts you've given. And of course, making me smile every time I see this Easter bunny or this Terminus looks so serious with that Easter bunny freaking ears on. It cracks me up every single time. Bam! Oh, man, I was, like, I was expecting something like crazy, like a grand and like I had like a birthday, like little, little confetti shooting out. No, it's not that but it was in my mind, so that's all that matters. Anyway, on that note, I'm gonna head out of here. Remember, if you want to play in these custom games, join my Discord, link's down in the description, and if you wanna get into my sub chat, you just have to go into the settings of Twitch, or settings of Discord, and link your Twitch or your Patreon if you are a patron or a Twitch sub. And of course, let me know down in the comments what you think about the COD changes. It's okay to be, you know, it's okay to love COD. It's okay to be, not have not my opinion. It's completely fine. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, even if it's wrong. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, I'm heading out of here. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm not gonna be one of those people who asks you to like and subscribe, so I'm not gonna ask.